the fat in your skin anymore to um, overcome the, um, uh, the 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 wrinkles. So um, one of the things that I've done, and I've always been really proactive about my skin, um, is I started using a while back. I mentioned it at the end of one of my videos. Um, the new product by Clinique, which is the uh, Repair Wear Laser Focus um, uh, Serum. I can't really see anything I put up here, I guess, but. Um, um, and it comes in a dropper, and it's um, it's just a, a sort of a clear product, and you put it on twice a day uh, uh, before any of your other products that you put on your cleansing products, uh, your uh, moisturizers, your night cream. So um, I'm, I'm talking about this this serum because I've noticed a significant difference, and it's hard to tell in my videos, um, but for me. Um, seeing my skin close up every day because I'm really uh, like anal about how my skin looks and how I'm aging and all that but um, this product has really really um, reduced a lot of my fine wrinkles that I have and uh, brightened my skin up a lot um, so I wanted to say that when I first got it um, I think it had just come out and I'd read some reviews on the internet about it and um, one, I said that I was going to come back and talk about it. So this is my second bottle, probably about my second, I'd have to look back on, on the timeline there, but uh, maybe my second month that I've been on it. I'm not sure, but I'll have to look. But um, I'm going to continue to use it and um, see if it, if it benefits me anymore in addition to some of the other things that I do. But this has been a really, really good product for me so far. And I've really noticed, I'm looking at myself now, I'm like, what are you noticing? Because like, what's wrong with the light in here today? But, um, and then the other thing that I've been using that, um, you know, I, I like to try new makeup and different things. And I'm really, um, frivolous when it comes to, um, I mean, I like high end things, but also like things that, um, work really well. And, um, I lately I've been on a mascara kick. And uh, I've been trying a lot of different mascaras. And this mascara, uh, you know, I'm a magazine junkie, and I read about, I read all the articles and reviews. This mascara, I read about it, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna try. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm, I probably bought like, in in two or three months, I bought like ten mascaras because I was just on a thing of, you know, um, because one of the things that happens is to me <laughs> when I'm losing my hair, hair. To me, my lashes and my brows don't seem as thick. It could just be something, you know, in my head or whatever. But um, so I started using this, and this is awesome. Um, the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. This is my current um, mascara that I'm using. And I have to get really close up because um, I really didn't put a, a thick layer on today. I don't know if you can see. I don't think you really can see my see really well. But... Um, this will make my lashes not only extend, I mean, when I say they extend, I mean, they really like, when I put it on really thick, you can see, probably see my lashes like, like all the way up here. And, and, and then it also gives them a lot of volume. It makes them really thick towards the base of my lashes, which I, which I really like. And I've, I've used, um, uh, uh, L'Oreal's, uh, Voluminous. Um, that's the only mascara that I would use for a long time, and I've tried many. And um, and so this has even um, replaced my O standby of uh, of that one. So um, this is a really good product if you're into if you have. Um, I don't really have a, my lashes are long if I you know if I use enough product. Um, but um, this is something that if you just want to grab it off the shelf and you want some volume and some length both. Um, and it's really easy. It comes off really easy. So, um, this is one of my favorite, uh, products right now. So that's probably the only thing that I'm going to talk about, but my keratin treatment that I got today, which, um, I've been told I have to, so I have to wait three days before I wash my hair and they go and they wash it out, wash the product out, but I can't like clip my hair back. I can't like put sunglasses, put it up in sunglasses. I can't even put any product at all in it. So it's super fine right now. And it's super uh, soft. So um, um, I'll let you know. I may do a video when I'm done with that if anybody's interested in that type of, uh, in those treatments. Um, I've been interested for a while. And it's just kind of taken me a while to get where I thought it might benefit me. And uh, from what my hairdresser says, that 
when you um, get this type of treatment, it's really, um, she tells me, and I, I read a little bit that it's, um, if, if you have color treated hair, it really binds really well to it. And um, keratin is something that your hair has naturally. So putting it back um, is supposed to make it look more healthy. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so really quickly, the other thing I wanted to talk about is um, sort of uh, something that I talk about in every video when I have a chance. And um, um, the old uh, body issue uh, slash self-esteem slash who am I now um, after I've hit my year surge anniversary um, little pep talk. So um, uh, I guess why I'm, I'm talking about this now is because um, there's been a few um, uh, issues going on with um, one of the things that I've been that's been bothering me lately is that I have been going when I got in public I've been having not panic attacks but just sort of um, I just really bothers me when people stare at me and because the majority of the time when I go out I'm a very busy person and I'm I'm you know like goal oriented when I go out to do something I don't have time to look around I don't have time to um, unless I'm, that's what I'm doing then they'll schedule me some time to do that but normally if I'm doing something and um, I don't know what it is because normally I don't notice stuff like that but lately I've been noticing a lot and what's been bothering me about it is that it's distracting to me like that I'll be doing something and um, look back or you know in something and then someone's staring and um, so I know that's weird and I know it's like you know who cares you know stop whining type of crap but um, I'm only saying it because um, this is something that that never bothered me before because I I never noticed it before. So I've been noticing it a lot lately. So um, I've really been trying to find ways to cope with that. And um, I mean, I've been to the point to where I felt like <laughs> maybe we should be saying this on YouTube, but I felt like people like follow me out of the store. Really. And maybe they did. Maybe they're just going to their own core. But it seemed like they kind of were following me. Okay, maybe I won't post this video now because that really sounds paranoid. But, um, so I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, you have a certain, um, sense of safety in your fat and your fat self. When you shed that, you shed a lot of things, not just your fat, you're shedding, uh, you're shedding your former outside self and you have to really get used to being your new self. And, um, part of that is looking better. And part of looking better is, you know, um, I guess that type of thing. So, um, I'm just really trying to find ways to cope with that type of thing. And, um, basically going from invisible and I've said this in many videos, to visible again. And you know, the anonymity and the invisibility wasn't that bad to me. Um, that might sound like it's misplaced, but the people that I want to see me and that, that matter to me, um, you know, that's one thing, but the people that, um, that hate or that, you know, to me, it's just sort of an annoyance. And, um, again, I don't even know if I'll post this video because it's not really something I planned, I planned to share, but, um, you know, I am, I just get kind of get carried away and then I just, um, I just say what I feel and, you know, hopefully, um, I connect with someone, you know, that may be going through the same thing. I'm, I'm certainly not doing it to, for any other reason than that. So, um, I see I ran a little bit long and I said I was just going to do a quick video and I have, uh, things I need to get to, but, um, just wanted to mainly talk about those product reviews and, um, if anybody else has any questions, again, as always, please let me know and, um, see you guys again soon. Maybe when the keratin is washed out and I have, like, body and volume, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Maybe. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye.